just we talked about the three tier architecture right this is the three tier you can see the first layer second layer and third layer three components is there that's why this is a r3 architecture it is known as earlier in beginning before r3 architecture there was only you know the presentation server and this application server and database server both was in 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 one component here you can see in two different component it is there application server is another component and database layer is the different component earlier how it was that both this you know let me copy these slides i will copy this one and maybe i will copy and i will insert a new slides over here and i will show you over here okay <clears throat> okay so here in r2 architecture both was tightly integrated this both was there in the same component okay but with this what used to happen the problem you know with this there used to happen uh, another problem what kind of problem i will show you suppose tomorrow if you have to you know suppose tomorrow if you have to uh update your application server application server is nothing but your sap software right if you want to uh, uh update your uh, sap software and your database is not compatible with this application server okay for the with the new software then uh, it will be a problem for you okay you will not be able to update again you will have to remove the database or you'll have to make the compatible you will have to make your database compatible with the new uh, software which you are going to install over here okay so in order to make it compatible compatible if this application server is not compatible with the existing database system first you will have to you know i mean whole whole system you will have to disturb will have to modify the whole system but in r3 architecture you know but in r3 architecture what you will be having here you don't have any problem suppose you know uh, tomorrow if you want to remove the application server directly you can remove the application server because it is loosely coupled okay it is loosely coupled but here if you want to remove the application server and if you want to new application server you have to disturb your database layer also this was the drawback with the r2 architecture and that's why r3 architecture came into the picture so now r3 architecture is there okay now we are having the r3 architecture fine let us save it